Hey YouTube, I'm Jess, welcome to a new video. Spring has sprung. Yes, up north here in Canada, we are experiencing spring and I'm loving it, I'm loving for it. It is so good. So today we are gonna film a spring inspired video. Today I'm gonna film a full face of Charlotte Tilbury and we are going to do it with spring in mind. I have filmed a couple of these videos before. I did a couple last year. I did one for fall and one for winter. So if you want to see some more Full Face of Charlotte Tilbury videos, I will link them in the description box down below. I will also have all of the products that I talk about and use in today's video listed down below as well. There will be links down there so that you can shop the Charlotte Tilbury website if you are interested. Let's get started with this video. I wanted to wear something colorful for this video. I opened up my drawers and like literally I have like two pieces of colorful clothing and one of them is this cute little yellow top. I feel like color is so in this spring and all of my clothes are black so. Um, all right, let's start. I'm gonna go in with a little bit of my Charlotte Tilbury Magic Cream. You guys know I love this. This is one of my favorite Charlotte Tilbury products and I'm gonna use this to prep my skin for foundation. And then I think I'm gonna do foundation next. Let's get our base going. The only foundation that I have from Charlotte right now is the Airbrush Flawless Foundation. And this is super full coverage and like a beautiful foundation, but I want something a little bit more like dewy and light for my spring makeup. So what I'm gonna actually do is go in with my Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Flawless Filter. I'm gonna take a whole doe foot on the back of my hand here like so and then I'm gonna mix in one pump of the airbrush flawless foundation mix those two together and that's just gonna help sheer out the foundation a little bit and then give it that extra glow that I'm looking for it's been weeks since I've put on foundation this is like the part of my makeup today that I've been most excited about, which is why I'm starting with it for sure. I've been uh, either not wearing makeup or wearing tinted moisturizer for weeks, months. The great thing about the Airbrush Flawless Foundation is that it has such incredible coverage that even if you sheer it out with another product like the Flawless Filter or Wonder Glow or even moisturizer, you're still gonna get a nice flawless finish. All right, foundation is on. Look at how glowy I am. Yay. Let's go with a little bit of concealer. This is the Charlotte Tilbury Retoucher Concealer. Oh, it's sounding quite empty actually. Okay, I guess um, this is empty. Is it? Yeah. Okay, so let me just go into my kit real quick here. Okay, so I just went into my kit and I pulled out the Magic Away concealer that I use in there. I'm gonna use the shade five, use this instead. The thing about this concealer that sucks, actually the packaging is not great. It can be really hard to get the cap off, especially when I have like moisturized hands. So when I put it away in my kit, I end up like not pushing the cap down all the way because there's literally been times when I've been doing people's makeup where I cannot get the cap off the concealer and it's just embarrassing at that point. Magic Away is a little bit more of a full coverage concealer compared to the Retoucher Concealer, the first one that I was going to use, which is a little bit of a lighter, more dewy. I like them both. I use the Magic Away in my kit because I find the number one thing that people are looking for when they're getting their makeup done is to have their under eye circles covered. So I choose the more full coverage concealer for my kit for that reason. And then we'll just buff that in. Okay, so that color was not very brightening for underneath my eyes. So I'm gonna go in with the Charlotte Tilbury Genius Magic Powder. Maybe I'll be able to use this all up today and add this to my empties because we are all the way at the bottom here. I have mine in shade number two. It's nice and brightening. It's got a nice bright yellow undertone to it. So I'm just gonna use this to hopefully brighten up that under eye a little bit. Get whatever is left in the cap here. Go through the center of my face with that. And that's it. So that's two empties in one video. And then I am gonna set the rest of my face with the Airbrush Flawless Finishing Powder from Charlotte Tilbury. The Hollywood Flawless Filter does not set. So, although I want my skin to look really dewy and glowy and fresh, 
it needs to be set because the foundation has that flawless filter mixed into it and if I don't set it, it won't set on its own and then it'll just be a big mess. The great thing about Airbrush Flawless Finishing Powder is that it has almond oil and rose wax in it so it doesn't make the skin feel dry and because the powder is so finely milled, I'm able to set all of my skin and not, you can see, take away that glow, that freshness. Okay, next up, let's do a little bit of cream bronzer. I'm gonna go in with the Hollywood Contour Wand in the shade Light Medium. And let's get the perimeters of my forehead here. And I'm just gonna blend this in as I go. Because it's going on top of powder, I don't want it to dry down too quickly and then be hard to blend. The Hollywood Contour Wands and the Charlotte Tilbury Spotlight Highlighters are made to go over top of powder. So you don't have to worry about setting your makeup and then going over top of the cream. They're made to be able to work that way. Here. Okay, and then I am gonna go in with a powder bronzer as well, just to warm things up a little bit. So this is the airbrush bronzer and I have mine in shade number two. Packaging on this guy is just next level. I love this little duo fiber brush from Real Techniques for bronzer. I've been using it on and off for years. And we're definitely back on. I love Real Technique brushes. I feel like they do such a good job. I've already used another one of my favorites. I used this one to put on my foundation, the buffing style brush. They do amazing brushes. The only thing is their barrels are so thick. So like I can't use them in my kit because like they just take up too much space and you need things that are small and compact. And then same thing like if you have a lot of makeup brushes and you're trying to store them, it can be frustrating when you're trying to fit them all in somewhere and like, you know, they just have the thickest barrels. I'm going to put a little bit of this under my jaw here too. And down my neck. Okay, loving it. Why don't I go ahead here and just really quickly fill in my brows. I'm gonna use my Charlotte Tilbury Brow Lift. I have mine in the color Brook S, which is now called Luscious Brow. I'm gonna do this real quick and then I'll be right back. Okay, brows are on. I haven't used a pencil to fill in my eyebrows in ages. Like, I think the last time was my Instagram chooses my makeup video, which was like at least a month ago, I feel like, so. I took my time and I tried not to overdo it. I think they look good. I think I want to actually move over to the eyes and then we'll come back and finish the face later. Charlotte doesn't do an eyeshadow primer, so I'm just going to really quickly prime my eyes with Urban Decay. The look that I want to do on my eyes today is like a really soft gold with some glitter. So I'm going to take this palette right here. This is the Icon palette. I always want to say Icons, but it's just the Icon palette. And I'm going to go in here and take this really light gold shade on the top right here. It's so pretty. I really love it. All right. So I'm going to pack this color all over my lid. From the inner corner to the outer corner. Just slightly blend out the edges a bit. This color is super sheer. It's a really, really sheer gold. And it already has some good reflex in it, some good amount of glitter. But I'm actually going to go in with another product just to make my eyes sparkle even more. I'm actually even just going to take a little bit of that on the same brush and just run it on my lower lash line as well. I don't usually do more like glittery shades down there. I usually just put matte colors on my lower lash line, but... Why not? Let's go for it. And then next I'm going to switch palettes. This is the Golden Goddess palette. Such a good like everyday neutral eyeshadow palette. I'm going to take this color right here, the smoke shade, on a fluffy brush that kind of tapers. And I'm going to add a little bit of this to the outer corner of my lid. And then just blend that out. Pull it up and out this way. How good do those two colors look together? Oh my god, I love it. Okay, and then finally I'm going to take my finger in the pop shade right here and add that right to the very center of the lid 
for some extra glitter and glow. And then I think I will just take that smoke shade again on a little pencil brush and just add a little bit of that to the outer corner on the lower lash line as well. Just for a little bit of balance. Okay, so I know for sure that I want to do a nude waterline. So I'm going to take this little eyeliner from Charlotte. This is called I Cheat. Uh, and it's just a nude color, not too white, not too pink. And then I've been debating what I want to do for eyeliner on top. I feel like I want to do like a brown little winged liner, but then I want the eyes to be like super soft. And I feel like there's already like more going on than I had intended. So should I skip liner completely? What I'm going to do is just take this liquid liner. This is the feline flick. Am I? This is so hard to work with. Okay. And then I'm just going to do like a super thin line right up against my lashes so that when I put on false lashes later, the band is hidden. And I'm not even gonna bring that all the way into the inner corner because I just want that inner corner to be nice and bare. I'm still using the old feline flick. The new one is so much better. This one I've literally never been able to get the hang of. It's a Shoto style pen, so you need to like push down on it in order for the ink to come out and I just like to do my eyeliner like really gently like I I barely even touch my skin and so it's just hard for me to use so let me pop on a little bit of mascara I'm gonna use the pillow talk push-up lashes mascara today I've been quite enjoying this guy lately I think I still prefer full fat lashes, but I haven't used that one since I've used this one. So when I finish this one, I have a, a full full fat lashes sitting in my closet. So I'm going to try full fat lashes again and then see which one I like better because this is really good, but I just love full fat lashes so much. So it'll be hard to beat. Okay guys, so mascara's on. I'm also gonna throw on a pair of lashes. Charlotte also does not do lashes. I'm gonna use these ones right here, this like really wispy, soft eyelash extension looking pair. So let me do that real quick. Lashes are on. Lashes are another thing that I haven't been wearing a ton lately. I've just been really liking the look of my makeup without them. So I haven't been wearing them like at all lately. It's kind of fun to have them back. Let's finish off the face. I am so excited to put on blush. So I was thinking I was gonna do Coachella Coral for my lipstick, which is like a really bright, beautiful, corally pink. But I think I might kind of want to go a little bit more peachy. I'm feeling a little bit more peachy vibes this spring. So for blush, that means I'm gonna go on with Ecstasy, which looks like this. Another thing I haven't been using a lot lately is powder blush. I've been in love with cream blushes so and i'm bringing that up over my nose for like that sunburnt springy look i think i'll even add some up here just for a little bit more color up here too and then for highlight i'm going to use this one the highlighter from the filmstar bronze and glow palette i finished the bronzer in here like i swear years ago and i've just been Working on using up the highlighter. We're doing pretty good. I don't think I've ever finished an entire highlighter before. So once we get there, it'll be a huge accomplishment. All right, and then for my lip liner, I'm looking for Pink Venus. Just overdraw them a little bit on the top, like I always do. And then for lipstick, I'm going to go in with this color right here. This is called Sexy Sienna. This is a matte revolution lipstick, so it's got a matte finish. Okay, how do we feel? I feel we could use a little more blush. I've been putting my blush like further back here on my cheek like all winter, but I just feel like for this look, this springy look, I really want like the apples of my cheeks to be nice and flushed so 
kind of focusing it more there and then blending it back. Mm -hmm. 